sometimes with our birds, we pamper them. You know, they get the feed from the store and all this special stuff, which don't get me wrong, we should totally give our animals the absolute best care. You know, they're relying on us. But sometimes I think we forget to treat them like, like birds. In this instance, you know, they're quail. So I'm over here uh, working on a flower bed. Well, creating a flower bed. And I'm pulling out grass. And right now I've just been tossing these chunks into the wheelbarrow and I'm gonna wheel it out to the goats. The goats will eat it and then the dirt I can bring back out of their pen and use it wherever I want. And I thought to myself, you know, the quail would enjoy this. And as you can see, like I've got one down there that's picking through the soil at the roots and I'm pretty sure they'll find some worms in there. But you gotta treat these guys like birds. Let them pick at nature. That's a clump of dirt with some grass on it. They'll eat the grass and they'll pick through the dirt. Who knows what they might be needing. And yet, that's a bell pepper in there. They've had a small head of lettuce that was some leftover lettuce today. They've got a bell pepper in there that they can pick at. And now they've got a, ch a, a big chunk of grassy stuff with some soil. Yep, their feeder, it's empty. But that's because they've also been spoiled with some fresh hay in their deals, which they're using right now as a dust bath. But she's digging around, she's looking for any goodies that she's finding in the hay. And that one's joining her. And they've got hay over there in that one. They've already had breakfast and lunch. They'll get dinner here again soon. And they get uh, soaked grains, soaked feed. It cuts down on your feed bill 30% to 35% approximately when you soak those grains. And it's, it's not because you're filling them up with water. It's because you're giving them when you soak the grains, you're bringing that... Anyway, you're soaking their feed. You're allowing those grains to, to wake up. You're, you're waking up the stuff that makes those seeds. And so they're getting more out of it than just a dried grain. They're getting a live feed. And then, like, sometimes we sprout and we grow fodder. That's even better. These guys, they'll thrive on it. So, you know, think how can you feed your birds? What can you offer them? And these guys are cracking me up. But what can you do for your birds? What can you offer? What can you do to give them a better life, better feed, cut down on your own costs of raising them? It's funny, they're enjoying a dust bath in the hay. They always do this and it cracks me up. <laughs> There you go, spoiling the birds, giving them stuff, you know, they're, they're birds, treating them like the birds that they are. They're busy playing king or, well, I guess queen of the mound. I pulled up the uh, grass and the flower bed I'm making and I brought some over to the chicks. These chicks here, escape artist, these guys are about three weeks old or, yeah, I think three weeks, I'll have to double check. Um, so they've actually been getting grass now for two weeks. If they're three weeks old, they've been getting grass for about two weeks. These guys are a week old uh, yesterday? No, 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 come back. Where are you going? Stay in there. Ugh, that one loves to be picked up. Anyway, these guys here are a week old. They've been on the chick crumbles. And I just started introducing soaked feed to them also. And they aren't quite sure what to think of their little mound of, of grass and dirt. A couple of them have picked at it. So I sprinkled some of their crumbled chick feed on top of it, and it's starting to get their uh, curiosity. There you go. What is that? Give it a shot. Curiosity will get the better of them. Being a chicken will get the better of them. Chickens naturally 
investigate these things. They can be timid at first, but they're going to investigate it. Those two are playing Queen of the Bound, or one of them is. They're used to getting loose grass that I just pick. So this is a new experience for these guys. That little Americana is being brave and trying it. Treat your chickens like chickens. When they're babies, they need grit. They need sand. They need to experience this. This is exactly what their mama would be showing them. So it's your job to show your chicks how to be chickens. They'll be timid at first, but I'll come back here later and there won't be much left. They'll have annihilated it, especially when they start discovering there's bugs in the, in the dirt. Chickens have a knack for getting bugs. Well, it only took about four minutes and there's starting to be some interest from these little weak old chicks on the uh, grass. They're getting brave, climbing on it as you can see. It's not so scary all of a sudden. It's something to investigate, taste test. Curiosity will get the better of them and eventually they'll try it out. And you know what? Yep, there's going to be dirt left over when they're done pulling all that grass out, when they're done just making a mess of it, guess what? There's going to be dirt in their pen. And that is just fine. You know why? They are going to use it as a dust bath, exactly like they should. So not only are we giving them something good to eat with the grass, and we're giving them nutrients in the soil, minerals and everything else, but it's also going to be a dust bath when they're done. And as you can see, my bedding, it probably looks really funny. A lot of people use shavings. I don't. I use wood pellets. Never ever cedar. Um, these are pine wood pellets. And I can get a week easily out of my wood pellets because they don't, um, they don't compact and hold the moisture as quickly as shavings. They also don't get that nasty stench that shavings have the tendency to get. Um, I absolutely love using the wood pellets. And we get a longer use out of them. The, ha the chicks are happier. They seem to be, we've had better luck, healthier chicks. You don't have to clean it, like seriously, once a week. If they've got an area, like they'll conglomerate in an area, especially at night under the heat lamp, I just scoop out that area. So that's why our bedding looks funny. And also you're going to see there's hay down there. Um, I'm always giving these guys little handfuls of alfalfa hay and grass hay. And they dig through it and eat little pieces and particles out of it. They enjoy it. These guys over here, same thing. They've got the wood pellet bedding. They've got their chunk of grass in there with soil attached. They'll eat the grass down. They'll absolutely make a mess of it. And then they'll use it as a, a dust bath when it's all done. And that one has claimed the grass pile as hers. She's laying on it. She says, nope, this is my pile. <laughs>